What we have here today are all rifles uh, which were custom manufactured by Griffin and Howe. Now, if you're an outdoors person, um, if you're a shooter, I'm sure you're familiar with their firm. Um, they, they have been around for over 100 years, and at one time they were you know, really on the cutting edge of, of sporting rifles, particularly sporting bolt action rifles. And, and as you can see, we've got quite a few here. Uh, really, Griffin and Howe got their start when Seymour Griffin, who was a cabinet maker in New York, started building custom stocks uh, for, for many of the rifles at that time, particularly some of the, like the surplus uh, Springfields at that time. Uh, eventually, he kind of caught the eye of Colonel Townsend Whelan, um, who is, is very well known for um, uh, the 35 Whelan cartridge, um, but it was also just a very well-known shooter at the time. Um, and, he, and he talked to him about joining forces with James Howe, who was a metalsmith uh, for the Frankfurt Arsenal. Um, so together they, they started the Griffin and Howe Company. Um, we're building those custom rifles at, the, at that time. Um, really kind of one of their first big innovations was the Griffin and Howe scope mount, which as you look through these, you can see them on several of these. And these were really the first um, scope mount, detachable scope mount that really came out that were easy to remove. You could, you could keep, the, um, you could keep your, your point of impact the same when traveling. Um, eventually the U.S. government bought them for the M1 Garands, for the sniper rifles. Um, and, and as you can see, they're still in use today and still an uh, absolutely excellent uh, product uh, as a scope mount. So, uh, as their popularity rose over the years, they also caught the eye of many other uh, well-known hunters, including Ernest Hemingway, uh, Robert Ruark, Gary Cooper, uh, Clark Gable, President Eisenhower. Um, so they, they kind of just continued to grow the legend of, of the Griffin and Howe rifles. So, uh, But as you can see, we've got uh, quite a few different bolt actions here. Uh, starting with some of the earlier models, if it were, we've got uh, two of the 1903 actions here and then also a Mauser action as well. So, you know, that's, they would take these actions, um, which were pretty prevalent at the time, uh, and then they, they would custom build them with, with different calibers. Uh, obviously the stocks, you can see these two have the Griffin and Howe mounts on them. Uh, kind of a particular note, this one's in a 416 Rigby, um, so a, a larger caliber uh, rifle that you'd have there. Uh, and then here we've got the Model 70s, which is would have obviously been a little bit later uh, time period that they started using that action. But all three of these actions are really probably some of the most famous actions out there, particularly for people that are building custom rifles uh, today. So they were they really were the originals. Um, and again, you can see all, all three of these have the Griffin and Howe mount. Kind of a particular note is this one here. You can see has engraving. That's another thing that they would do. Um, they had uh, absolutely fantastic engravers that they would use, uh, including Rudolph Kornbrath, uh, who is well known to have, have cut for them. Uh, but as you can see, this one's a Model 70 that's engraved. And, and, and not over, over the top engraving, you can see a little bit of um, a wedge on the front. Um, and then also the, the, the whole uh, Griffin and Howe mount here is, is engraved as well. So. Um, Obviously these we talked about are six bolt actions, which are really what they were kind of most famous for. Um, but then right here in the middle, we have a fully engraved Savage 99 that was manufactured uh, or custom built by Griffin and Howe. Uh, this happens to be uh, coming to us from the Tom Selleck collection. We've sold some of Mr. Selleck's uh, firearms over the year. Uh, he has a great eye for firearms uh, and, and this is no exception. This is just an absolutely beautifully engraved uh, Savage 99 that was done by Griffin and Howe. So, Griffin and Howe rifles are something that we have seen come through our auction over the year. I don't remember another uh, really opportunity to, to have this many Griffin and Howe rifles in one auction. So um, that's just why I kind of wanted to highlight these um, that are going to be coming up in our December premiere sale. Uh, that's December 9th, 10th, and 11th. We have a full day preview on December 8th. Please go to our website, www.rockislandauction.com, uh, where you can see these beautiful rifles along with all the other items we have coming up in that December sale. Uh, once again, it's December 9th, 10th, and 11th with the full day preview on December 8th.